WSBW Weather with Jim Vanderswan. Fog and low clouds a normal part of our days on the California coast. Some days you get a lot of it, it doesn't go away. Some days just a little bit of it and goes away rather quickly, and it's gone right now. Marine layer is trying to get back into business, but it'll be a while before it does. Made for a heck of a nice Friday the 13th, though. 86, Boulder Creek, Ben Lomond got 79 out of Santa Cruz. Lovely 74 in Watsonville, about 10 degrees cooler in Marina and Seaside in Monterey and Carmel is 64. Degree cooler PG, 76 in Carmel Valley, 73 in uh, Big Sur. Nice. 69 in Salinas, lots of 70s to low 80s in the Salinas Valley. Santa Clara Valley, same thing, upper 70s to about mid to upper 80s. Gilroy, the hot spot at 88 today. And yeah, that's pretty close to what they had in Sacramento. We've got a couple of low 90s in Fresno Bakersfield, the hundreds out in the deserts, 60s, 70s by the sea, and we're basking. In the glory that is a wonderful June. 60 in Seattle, 10 warmer in Boise, then up to 93 in Denver, much warmer than Dallas. A lot of 70s, though, around the rest of the country, and that's warm enough to well, keep that water vapor coming up off the Gulf. One upper level low, bringing showers and thunderstorms, and now big weather on the, uh, off the front range of the Rockies. A lot of flooding rains in New England and the northeastern United States, so it's still very active weather. A lot of people still deal with a lot of wet green stuff here, and these are all severe thunderstorms. So far, no tornado. It was down, but lightning, rain, and hail, and wind. That's all part of the picture when it gets that bad, and it's not over yet. Heavy rain will likely continue for the rest of tonight and tomorrow in the northeast. There will be some localized floods, nice and warm, but this upper low that's coming off the Rockies is going to fire up again tomorrow, and there's going to be severe weather in the high plains all the way down to Kansas, Oklahoma, Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, into Chicago. It's going to be a mess for some people this weekend, and they're going to rain out everything and some dangerous weather to boot. Hurricane off the coast, no threat there. You are here. We have nothing but the upper level low. The high pressure is offshore. Storm track stays to the north and is going to be there for a while. Lines of equal pressure tell the story. It's just enough to keep the marine layer in business. Lift it up a little bit, drop it back down. We're going to kind of keep going on that little roller coaster ride for most of next week. And then late in the week, high pressure starts to build in and things warm up a little bit, but no heat waves coming. Light northerly winds in the morning, west to northwest in the afternoon. Uh, not as much moisture as we've seen in days past, but probably a little bit more Saturday night into Sunday, but it should clear all but the peninsula. Everybody else gets sunshine, and that's great for Father's Day weekend. 60s, 70s will do it. 80s in the South Bay, that's pretty nice stuff. This is about normal. It might uh, hit a 90 in Gilroy for one day, and then it backs down again, so we're not going to wear you out yet for the summer. Figure about an 80 in Soledad, 86 King City, 73 in Salinas. Out to the peninsula, mid-60s ought to do the trick. Pretty nice with lows in the 50s for just about everybody, and a few leftover 40s. 88 Ben Lomond, 80 even in Santa Cruz, nice 76 again in Watsonville. It's looking good. Overnight, 40s, 50s, clear. Low clouds uh, setting up late tonight locally into the Salinas Valley, but then clears off pretty quick. The valleys won't see much of it. And maybe a little bit on Sunday morning, too, but mostly uh, 70s and 80s tomorrow. And something close to 90 in a few spots. A couple of 80s possible at the north end of the bay. The rest is mid to upper 60s. Morning clouds. I think we'll get some afternoon sun for just about everybody. And we'll go with that plan. Cool it down a little bit Monday through about Wednesday. Bring it back up in the valleys and the mountains for 70s and 80s. The coast, not much change this time of year. The 60s and 70s will do it. It's just a matter of uh, seeing a little bit more low cloud it is for a couple of days, and then a little bit less, and then a little bit more. But it's a nice little place to swing for a while. You bet it. There you go. Good stuff. Okay. All right. Now we got.